We are on a mission to know, will it fit? Join us. But you know what will fit? <laughs> a buttload of candy. What's going on Defenders? Casey from Defend the Table here. That was a, uh, a lot of candy. Some might say a buttload of candy. And by some, I mean Pete, because that was his words before we did the shot. Um, thanks Pete, good word, good word. But we are doing a series of Will It Fit videos. Bunch of random things to see what we can fit in this beautiful bag from Geek On, uh, the ultimate board game backpack. Let's, uh, let's see what our first thing up is. I direct you over to a whole lot of boxes. This is every single possible thing that you could purchase for Resident Evil 2, the board game from Steamforged Games. You'll notice it's all in plastic. That's because we haven't done our unboxing slash storage video. There's a lot of stuff going on here and you're not gonna use all the boxes. So we are going to go over how we are going to store all of this stuff because there's just a bunch of it. But mainly, we're actually gonna unbox every single thing so you can see every piece to this awesome game. But before we get there, we're gonna see how much of the game in the impractical boxes, such as, you know, Monster 2, Monster 1, Monster 3. Good job, Pete, you spent all that time organizing and you can't even do your numbers right. What do I not pay you for? that. That's what I not pay you for. So we're going to shove as much of that stuff in here as we possibly can and we'll, uh, we'll see where we get to. Could the bag hold every bit? 100%. Just we'll see how practical it is with all these little things. Hmm. We'll go with that. Keep going with the, the big boxes. Go with. Whoopsies! That guy. What are you hooked on? Whoo! That's a lot of stuff. Um, this is just a box for a giant plastic alligator. The box is unnecessary but we could not fit it in, uh, which sucks. But uh, like I said, when we do our, our big overall video in a week or two, that will fit. And then we did not get the Survivor Pledge Kickstarter exclusive alternative sculpts, which are just alternative sculpts to the game, not necessary to play the game. Again, this also is not necessary to play the game, it's just more baddies. But we fit, good Lord, three monster expansions, an extra set of dice, a uh, the dice box, uh, the Geek On dice tray and roller is in there. We've got the 3D terrain. We have the fourth Survivor expansion. We have the base game. We have the retro uh, aesthetic cosmetic pack. We've got uh, three, uh, I'm sorry, two uh, amalgamations of G, um, different bits. We've got the B files expansion. And there's one other expansion that I can't think of what we put in there. But this. I mean, that's, that is a, an obscene amount of things and uh, just too short from every single thing that even exists for this game. Two boxes short. I consider this an, an unbelievable win because again, these are not necessary expansions. This one you can't even buy. You had to back it on Kickstarter. So this doesn't even exist. So this realistically, one guy we couldn't fit and we could probably unpack him and fit him in one of the side boxes, but we're not gonna do that because we have another unboxing video for all of this, plus a different storage solution. Um, good job, Geek On. Maybe you're going on a big trip. Maybe you're 
want to get rid of some furniture and you're like, you know what, who needs a dresser? I got the ultimate board game backpack. Well, you should probably use this for games, but let's see if we can fit my entire dresser of just random clothes in here, because why not? Let's see. I think this is the thing that's going to push it over. Whew! Besides the fact that we have the air conditioning turned off for good audio quality, you're welcome. That was exhausting. We have, okay, I'm going to take everything back out so we can explain exactly what we have. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine pairs of socks. Nine socks. We have one utility kilt, not a sponsor. But if you want to, I'm not gonna tell you no. One, two, three pairs of pajama shorts. This is where it gets impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pairs of gym shorts, track pants. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of pants. One, two, three, four, five pairs of shorts. So, will it fit my entire dresser? No, we're this close. The only things that I'm missing, I didn't put my underwear in here because it's for YouTube. I got a couple more pairs of socks and I've got three more pairs of pajama pants. So I've almost got an entire dresser in here, but more than enough things that if you're going to a con and you only you need a place to put your clothes. I guess you can do it, but if you're going to a con, you should be buying board games and war games and putting those in this bag. But could you hold both? You totally could. That's it. Are now at the table the table you put that in quotes why do we put that in quotes this is the table that started defend the table this is where we started board gaming on this table this table has gone across states this is what started it all and what better place to bring back uh, a will it fit to bring to this table than where it all began with good old D&D &D Dungeons and Dragons 
we are going to put a, I would say, an excessive D&D &D night. And by that, books that you wouldn't use on a normal time. I've got some of my DM supplies here because I'm more of a DM than a player these days because none of my friends know or like to tell a story, so it falls onto me. Which is fine. I like running them through stuff. I don't always need to be a player. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna put all this in here because I have used this bag on numerous occasions already to go to my D and D nights. Um, just because I love the bag. So we're putting it out in the drawstring bridge mode, whatever you want to call it. Put in a bunch of books. We are putting in these are. Some lovely markers, magnetic, you can write on top of them. Great thing for uh, running your games, for role playing. What else do we got here? We've got some of our map tiles. We've got our not a sponsor, Wormwood dice, tray and vault. And we've got the mug. Always have your own beer mug. Don't use your hosts. Use your own. BYOB, BYOBS. Bring your own beer. Bring your own beer stein. We'll put that right in there. Roll it up dice bag. So we can put all the little bits and bobs in there. And of course, your notebook. We'll close all this up. Ooh. You've seen us do this actually in the first video that we ever did. Take your player sheets and your cards, put those up front. In this top container, we've already got a dice tray, but we're putting more in. Again, this is an excessive amount. All of the spell cards that I own. Is there a reason to have this many? No, you would never bring these. You would have them set aside for your game already because you don't, you're not the level to use all of the cards. Metal tray for your initiative, for your tracking, the wood to put all of those on. And you can't forget your mini. You got to have your character that shows where you are on the board. Now, when they're not, you know, lucky from Guild Ball, uh, when you have a normal miniature, they can break. They are metal, they're plastic, um, so you need to make sure that you keep them protected. We've got the hard container right on top. Safe. Now let's say that you have a, I don't know where it went. I have many a time, I use D&D Beyond a lot now. Throw your laptop, your Surface, your tablet, right over here. Pete's signaling that it's on the chair. Oh, I kicked the table. Take your Surface, throw it in the back, zip it up. So, an excessive amount of Dungeons & Dragons content for your game, player, or running it. Will it fit? Absolutely.